So if you desire to be wealthy and gain financial freedom, there's one important thing that you've got to know. Saving money will never make you rich. So what's going on guys? It's Josiah, your success strategist. And in today's video, I'm going to give you the top three reasons on why saving money is never going to make you rich. So I know growing up, your parents probably told you save for a rainy day. Your grandma probably told you, you know what? A penny saved is a penny earned. And the whole time that you've been sending all of this money to your checking account and then transferring it to your savings account, you've been thinking that you've been on the right road to financial freedom. But I've got to give you the real deal today. As your brother, your success strategist, I got to tell the truth and I got to shame the devil. You're never going to get rich by saving money. Saving money is not a predictor of wealth. You know, the only thing that saving money is good for preparing for an emergency situation. Saving money is good when it comes to, you know, maybe you lose your job, God forbid, and you need a month or two to be able to get back on your feet and find another stable source of income. Saving money works when you find yourself in a uh, emergency situation. Maybe your car breaks down. Maybe you got to go and take it somewhere really quick to get serviced. And you've got to be able to pull a little bit of money from your nest egg so that way you could get yourself out of a tight jam. Those are the only times in which saving money works to your benefit. Now, if you don't have any money in savings, it's very important that you have an emergency fund established. But if you've already focused on having some savings in place to cover minor emergencies, you cannot turn your savings account into a wealth generator, okay? Generating wealth is about investments. And that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. So the first reason why saving money will never make you rich is because savings is outperformed by inflation. What does inflation mean? Inflation is basically an easy way of saying life gets expensive over time. Life becomes more expensive by the day. So anything that you are paying for right now is only be going to become more expensive tomorrow. When your parents were growing up, there were certain things that they were able to do with $5 that is different than how little you're able to do with the $5 that you have. I know a lot of times when I was growing up, my parents always told me about, you know, how much they could fill up an entire tank of gas with only a few dollars, how they could buy a whole meal, how houses didn't cost so much. The entire economy was different. And the economy is only becoming more and more expensive over time. That is coming on the basis of inflation. Now, when it comes to this concept that we know as inflation, the average rate of inflation is 2% per year. So every year, your cost of living is going up. Now, here's the problem. Your cost of living may be going up, but your paycheck may not be going up at all. Your paycheck might be staying the same, right? And when it comes to what you have in your savings account, moving down to the second point, point number two, well, are you making 2% interest or higher in your savings account? Chances are no. Most savings accounts are anywhere between zero to 3% and 1% at best. It is not an investment vehicle to make you money over time, okay? So I want you to get this thought in your head right now that you're never going to build wealth or achieve financial freedom by just putting money into a savings account. If you look at any uh, business owners or you look at any people on the Fortune you know, 400 list about the top wealthiest people in the world, None of those people are ever going to say in any interview that their claim to fame was having their money saved by the penny in a savings account. They're all going to tell you one thing. They invested their money primarily into a business because most of the wealthiest people in the world 
are business owners, okay? So I wanna be able to take some time to really help you understand why not all money is the same and why people that are investors become wealthy. See, the reason why investors become wealthy is because in order to invest, you've got to be able to commit yourself to a certain level of risk. When you just put money into a savings account and you're just watching your dollar just stay pretty much static in your account, it's collecting dust in the bank, there's no risk involved. And the bank is not going to reward you for just having money there. They're using your money and they're going out and loaning your money to other people. But in terms of what that money is actually doing for you, it's pretty much doing absolutely nothing. The only function for having money in a savings account is, again, to be able to protect you in the event of an emergency. But all wealthy people understand that they have to take calculated risks and invest their money into an investment vehicle that's going to make money for them over time. Why is it that most wealthy people in the world are business owners? Well, because of the fact that when you run a business, it allows you to be worth a lot more money independent of your time. Let's say that you were the owner of McDonald's, right? You've got these McDonald's franchises all over the world. And guess what? It's not just you flipping burgers now. You've got hundreds of thousands of employees working for you all around the world. But guess what? Even though you're not the person in the kitchen, you're still making money because your company is growing from year to year. You are entitled to a percentage of the revenue that's generated from that company from one year to the next. So most wealthy people are business owners because it doesn't put them in a fixed system of income, right? Right now, you may be working at a nine to five job. And at that nine to five job, your income level is already fixed. So you may be working and you get paid based around 40 hours worth of work. Or you may have a salaried position where despite how many hours you actually work during a week or how many hours you work during a day, your income level is already fixed based upon the salary that was offered to you when you take the position. So no matter how hard you work, there's only but so much money that you can make in that environment, in that system. That's the reason why Two thirds of all millionaires in America today are business owners. Why? Because when you invest in a business, regardless of how many hours you work, you're going to reap what you sow. Regardless of, you know, what type of salaries your employees may be given, you are entitled to an equity amount within the company. In other words, to make a long story short, your business can be the gift that keeps on giving because it's an investment vehicle. This is the same way that real estate is an investment vehicle. The stock market is an investment vehicle. Some forms of investments are better than others. But when you take your money and you put it into a savings account, you are not investing at all. You're not putting your money into something that's actually has the possibility of being able to double, triple, or quadruple your money. If you're going to have financial freedom, you've got to be able to outperform inflation. And if inflation is growing at a 2% rate per year, then that means that you need to have your money working for you in a way that can outpace that level of growth. It's never going to happen in your checking account or your savings account that's only getting you 1% savings at best. So you got to start putting your money to work for you. You got to start thinking like an investor rather than a saver. You got to start thinking like a producer rather than a consumer. Okay, so this is the reason why I'm always stressing to you guys the importance of getting that empire builder that I always talk about in my videos. Why? Because in that empire builder gift that I put together for you, 
I'm actually showing you step by step how to be able to build an empire from scratch so that you can achieve financial freedom. If you're thinking that you're just going to put money into a savings account and you're going to work for 40 years and after you're done working for 40 years, you're going to retire in your old age and there's going to be money in the bank and that's going to be enough money to be able to hold you over for the rest of your life, you are sadly mistaken. And that's the reason why there's so many people in America today that are working at a much older age. A lot of those people had put money into an account hoping that it would give them deliverance once they were ready to retire, but they came to find out that due to inflation, the amount that they had in savings was not enough to hold them over. So you got to start investing now. Even if you start small, you got to start investing now. And that's the reason why I keep stressing the importance of coming with an empire building mindset. So make sure that you download that empire builder. It's gonna show you how to be able to start building your very own empire from scratch, whether you're at a nine to five job, whether you're looking for work, whether you're a business owner and you're trying to be able to grow and scale your company, the Empire Builder is going to show you step by step all of the things that you need to do to get one step closer to your own financial freedom. Make sure that you get that file. Make sure that you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Leave me a comment and you let me know some of the things that you're going to do to be able to build wealth over time. I hope it's not just putting money into a savings account. Let me know what your plan is and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.